evening. Welcome to the Cigar Cabin, home of great cigars and honest reviews. So tonight's episode, I'm honoured to be smoking this cigar. So this is the one and only La Estencia, or better known as the EE52, which came to the market in 2014. And it was created by both Jeremiah and Joshua. What a fantastic looking cigar this is. And this was gifted to me by the one and only Melissa Marafal. So the Marafal family, probably one of the most or the most respected tobacco families in the world. And I'm honored to have this cigar in my hand. What an honor, what an honor. This has got a lovely pigtail on it. I'm gonna go into the band later, but this just looks unbelievable. There's minimal veins. You can't really see the seams. I don't know if you can see that. It smells delightful. If you could smell what I'm smelling, you'd be in cigar heaven like myself. This is a Nicaraguan wrapper and it's got, well, rumors have it, it's got Cuban tobacco from the 1950s. So before the revolution. And I think the story behind that was they purchased the Cuban tobacco to, I think, sell back when the embargo finished. But I think Jeremiah and Joshua had other ideas and they've produced this amazing cigar, kind of, they say, uber luxury. And I'm just so proud to be, to know them, to have conversations with Jeremiah, to have conversations with Melissa and some of the people behind it, which I'll go into further down this um, episode. But what a fantastic, fantastic looking cigar. And thank you, Melissa, for giving me the opportunity to smoke. I don't want to smoke it because this is one of the only ones that I have. I had a Visconde from uh, the Maestranza, which you, you you gifted me as well. And it was absolutely amazing. If that is, I mean, I'm sure this is going to be, well, knock the socks off that because just looking at it is just unbelievable. So I think the whole story started in 1876, quote me if I'm wrong, but that's just what I'm led to believe. And they've been respected in this industry for decades and decades. And I think they work with Fuente, Padron, some of the massive big names. So I'm going to try and light this the Jeremiah way. So I'm going to give it the V cut and I'm going to do a soft flame light. So join me in getting into this EE52 La Estencia. So I'm going to have to take the foot band off there. And again, I'm going to go through this triple band shortly because it's triple entirely gold band and it's a holographic band and it's the first uh, industry first anyway i take my time and i'm gonna just get this lit and get into this cigar i'm salivating already so it's the e52 from marafal cigars so i'm gonna do this in the way i think jeremiah because i remember hearing him on a show of how he cuts and lights a cigar so i hope i get this right jeremiah so i'm going to use this beautiful v cut gold it all works so yeah well you you, you got to go for it you got to push the boat out especially when you get amazing cigars so as as ever don't worry about the pigtail pop it in and give it a nice cut put that away and you're left with that v cut give it a couple of cold draws Wow, it's very Cuban-esque, it really is. I'm not just saying it because it just draws beautifully. And this might take a bit of time because he uses a soft flame every time he lights a cigar. So I've got myself soft flame and I'm gonna just toast the foot, turning the cigar, letting it smoke, letting that aroma just flow. This is the beautiful part of cigar smoking. And if anyone doesn't smoke cigars, well, you're missing out, especially when you get amazing cigars like this. So I think that's pretty much ready. And then take it to the mouth. Wow. 
oh, the draw is just exceptional. That really is easy. Just that right amount of resistance. So, so far it's just creamy. The aroma of the smoke is just out of this world. Wow. I am one lucky man. I'm sure I've got a few envious people watching this going, yeah, what an amazing cigar. The EE52 from Marafel. Join me at the first third and I'll tell you how I'm getting on with this unbelievable cigar. And uh, Jeremiah, I'm having water to go with it, as you recommend. So join me at the first third. See you in a minute. There it is, the ash. I tried to hold it as long as I could. But let me explain. This La Estencia EE52 Edition Exclusiva is unbelievable. It has all the sort of tastes that you would get in a Cuban cigar. The carbon ring is unbelievable. It's so thin. You just know there's been some real aging on this particular cigar. The taste, it's creamy. I, I can almost put it to the same as one of my favorite cigars, which is the White Churchill. I love that cigar, but this is that and then some. It has woody, a woody finish. It's got like a real subtle pepper, which just sits on the palate. And the draw and the resistance is right up my street. Look at that just unreal this is magical this is uber luxury at its finest so join me at the halfway stage of this amazing scar from Marafel. so join me at the halfway stage of this amazing cigar and thank you melissa i have to say it i'm over the moon so See you at the halfway stage. So you join me a little bit above halfway. Now I've got to this stage because of this triple entirely gold holographic band, which is an industry first. I'm just gonna, obviously, let me just show you quickly. Look how straight that is. That is just fantastic. I love the ash contrast to the cigar. But I'm going to just take off this amazing band. This is just phenomenal. Now I've seen their latest cigar. I've not seen it in person. But that has, again, it's an industry first. The Richard, it's called, or Richard. But just look at that for a band. I'm hoping you can see it as I do. What an amazing, amazing band, which just finished this uber luxury cigar perfectly. And then they have this on the foot and it's got a little star there. Now I don't know what that star is for. Maybe if Jeremiah, Melissa, um, Joshua, Reinhard, or even Jose Blanco can tell me what that means uh, in the comment section. But this is just fantastic. I absolutely love this cigar. It's still got all those subtle um, flavors of a typical Cuban. I'm getting like the creaminess. I've got that, well, it's like a creamy like coffee. Um, it's got a woody finish. And that pepper is just so delightful. Just sits on the palate. The smoke output. I cannot say anything more than just watch this. Look at 
thick and creamy. <sighs> wow. Wow. That V cut has worked perfectly for this cigar. Mm. The ash gone again. I try and keep this place clean. And uh, a disclaimer, uh, I have to apologise for the snoring, but I do have Reggie right here. He's my right hand man. So normally he's left by now, but this just tells you this is a great cigar because he's still here. So join me at the final third, the business end of this EE52 from Marifal Cigars. What a band, what a band. Just amazing. Now you join me at the very end of this La Estencia or the E52 from Marafal Cigars. This has been truly delightful. I have enjoyed this immensely. The flavors again, it's got that the subtle flavours that you get from a Cuban cigar, the creaminess, I'm getting that coffee, I've had that pepper that just finishes off in the palate. You get a cocoa towards the end, which is absolutely phenomenal. Look at the draw line and the ash on that. Absolutely amazing. I cannot fault this cigar one bit. I've got to get a few more, that's for sure. The smoke has been fantastic. The aroma in here just smells amazing. Draw, perfect. I'll do a quick retro at the end, but I've, I've, I've done a couple already and it's just, that brings out the cocoa. That cocoa right there, right there. So I'm going to finish this off by a quote that Jeremiah always says. If you don't do it with passion, don't do it at all. Please check out their website here. And also check out Melissa's Instagram, which is here. On that note, stay safe and happy smoking. Delightful.